My name is Jessica Cordell. I'm an animal keeper here at Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, Virginia. Working with the cloud of leopards has been really a wonderful experience since I've started here. The cloud of leopard cubs were born to Tamun and Sita this year on March 28th, 2011, and it was about approximately 12 or 1 in the afternoon. For the first two weeks, we actually feed them seven times a day, and it's only two people, so you actually lose a lot of sleep. There's 6 a.m. feedings, midnight feedings, you're feeding them every three hours. After the two weeks, you drop down to six feedings, allows approximately four hours in between each feeding, and you add another person. Daily, the cubs are weighed. From that weight, we're able to calculate how much milk they're supposed to intake each day. We divide that by the number of bottles that they're fed, and that's how much milk they get each feeding. Although it's extremely tiresome to take care of them every year, each time that their cubs are born and we're expecting, it's very exciting. They're very cute, so that helps. And how much we're learning from them actually can help save, hopefully, at least a captive population. SCBI has played a very important role in breeding cotton leopards. The research done here at SCBI in partnership with the Nashville Zoo and ZPO in Thailand, and through the Thailand project, we realized how crucial it is to hand rear cotton leopard cubs for successful breeding. It's really important that we have them in captivity and we are doing breeding programs with them in captivity because in the wild, their numbers are really low. We know they're low, so having them in captivity is preserving the species. This year we expect to have another litter of cubs due the first two weeks in May to Jiao Chu, which is actually Tamun's mother. We're in the process of building a new facility for the cloud of leopards. We really are excited about the facility and the new facility will actually give um, each pair their individual own building and then also give them much more space and provide them the height that they really truly need to be successful and comfortable. Thank you.